So I'm headed in for my solo adventure. Um, this will be my first weekend hunting alone, like I said. And the last little update, um, my dad's having surgery, so unfortunately his bear season ended. And unfortunately we didn't get a bear down for him, but I still have a couple weeks, so I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can. And I'm headed up for my first weekend solo, and we're gonna see how this goes. I'm excited. I hope the uh, bear activity picks up, and I am keeping my fingers crossed that I can get it done. Well, night one of my solo adventure is over. Um, no bears tonight. They hit the bait really hard though this past week, so that was really encouraging to see. And uh, there was a bear almost in there every night except last night, um, but that was good. A, a young boar actually showed up during the day during the day in the evening, um, right before dark. So that was also really encouraging. Um, and it wasn't a total loss because hey, look, found a shed. Look at that in the bone zone. Um, pretty pretty chalked out and chewed up but you know that's okay man I'm not a bad little buck would have been a nice three-pointer probably um so hey not a total loss but yeah night one of the solo adventure is now in the books and we'll move on till tomorrow So I just rebaited the site. Um, the bear last night actually did come in right at dark. It was like 11 or so, so it had been dark for an hour or so, but he did hit it. So I just rebaited it, and now I'm gonna go sit it for an hour or so, see if anything happens. But I definitely am gonna be back tonight because that bear is consistently coming in now every night. So uh, hopefully he comes in before dark. All it takes is one. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and we'll see what happens. It's prime time right now. It's just before dark. Um, hopefully the bears are coming in soon. I'm just gonna sit here and wait until right before dark and hopefully one comes in. It's a perfect evening. Well, last night was unsuccessful. Um, no bears came in in shooting light, but I did go check the camera this morning and the young boar came in at 3 a.m. So really early this morning. He's being really inconsistent with his times and it's really just a luck of the draw. So I'm a little frustrated on what to do um you know this is all learning experience for us and we're learning a lot about these bears and their patterns and stuff um talked to a other couple guys who are hunting around here and they said the bear activity is definitely picking up because they're starting to go into rut but unfortunately we only have one week of season left so it's kind of getting down to the wire i'm gonna go home i'm gonna regroup and think about what to do um I have a feeling I'm going to be back this week and sit the blind because it's 
getting under the wire and I really want to kill a bear. So we'll see you. Okay, it's the final weekend. I got my last couple chances. Shayla decided to join me. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully she's my good luck charm, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Keep our fingers crossed, but we're headed in for stand one tonight. It's the final night of bear season 2019. Shayla's here with me. She's being a trooper and sitting in the stand with me these last couple nights. Hopefully that bear comes in. It's fourth and long for me now. He came in last night though, so that was good news, I guess. But of course he came in after dark, so that didn't help. But we're keeping our fingers crossed. Our hopes are semi-high, I would say. But uh, yeah, we're going in. Okay guys, I made it back to the mule and it's officially 9.56 and bear season is officially over. That's the uh, cutoff mark, 30 minutes past um, sunset. So I made it back to the mule. Unfortunately, no bear on the ground. So pretty disappointing, but it was a hell of a season and we had a good time. Shayla, thanks for coming enjoying along these last couple sits. Um, yeah. Alrighty guys, our bear season's over. We both ate tag soup this year and we both didn't harvest a bear, but that's okay. Um, this was a total experiment for us. Yeah. It was our first year baiting. First year baiting, we got a lot of, lot of lessons learned. Yeah, you know, I've, I've killed bears in the past, but never baited, so. It's all new for both of us, and we learned a lot of stuff. Yeah. So what? going into next season, we'll definitely have new tactics and oh, a yeah. new way to attack it. So yeah, yeah. Um, some of the things I think that we really learned that really affected our hunt was we were definitely too close to civilization. Yeah, yeah, we were too close to a road. We actually got, you know, a fish, fish and game gave us a warning and made us move our site. Not only was it legally too close to the road, but... The traffic on the road, you know, the people on four wheelers and people hiking and yeah. stuff definitely kept the bears away. And yeah, then, like we were the civilization. Right? Yeah, we we were up above some homes that were down close to the road, and in the evenings when we were sitting, you could hear the commotion that was going on down there. You know, whether it's people's dogs barking, people talking, mowing their lawn, whatever. But I think that definitely the bears can hear that as well, and I think that kept them from coming in. Um, in the evening time because you know bears don't want to be around people necessarily so yeah, they, we actually had some dogs come up from down below and yeah. we had pictures of dogs laying in front of the barrel and licking the grease and stuff yeah so, so that definitely probably didn't help you know um, and the weather yeah definitely we uh the weather played a huge role in this season i think it delayed i think the rut probably for the bears and Bears don't like really foul weather. Yeah, so. they were they were not out. We didn't get pictures hardly at all when it was mm -hmm. raining. No. And uh, oh, and also, you know, I had surgery in the middle of the season. Yeah. I had a it was a planned surgery, but it cut my season short. So yeah, so we learned some stuff. Unfortunately, yeah, that was kind of how our bear season wrapped up. We want to show you guys this though, because hopefully you can learn from our mistakes yeah. and. We want to be real because this yeah. is what hunting is. You know, you don't always kill something. I but think I think most of the time people don't get something, and 
And that's how you learn. And I yeah. think next year we'll be better bear hunters or maybe we'll harvest a bear, you know? Yeah, we'll see. So um, definitely. Maybe this fall. We might throw yeah. a barrel out this fall during bow season, but but elk is the number one thing. Yeah, so we're going to start getting in elk mode now. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to this series, this project. Um, we we want to show you guys the ins and outs of it all. And we appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, we're going to be having more content coming out as we get into summertime and get into fall with elk season and just all the other hunting seasons that are upon us. Um, if um, you guys haven't already. Please subscribe. Yeah, please make sure all you right. subscribe. Um, all righty, guys. Thanks. We'll catch you on the next one.